man, in today's video, man, I want to give some 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 encouragement to my brothers out there that have kind of given up on dating, given up on finding a wife, uh, and give you some words of wisdom. Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, I know there's a lot of brothers out here uh, that have that have pretty much become washed up uh, in today's dating culture and climate. And I'm going to give you some advice, some wisdom, especially from the word uh, that can help you out on your journey. Because the Bible talks about how rare a good woman is, how rare a virtuous woman is, how rare uh, and priceless finding a, a good wife is. And there's several places you can look in the Bible. You can look in Proverbs. You know, you can look at uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus. There's so many places in the Bible that talk about finding a virtuous woman, finding a set apart woman. And I'll tell you this, what you need to do is not lower your expectations. You know, sticking with the word, you know, if you are truly a man desiring a meek and modest uh, woman, what I want you to do is I want you to go to this YouTube channel. It's called Straightway Help Meets. That's not, that's, that's straight, S-T-R-A-I-T-W-A way space help meets. Go over there and check out a minimum of two videos from those women over there, a lot of them are covered and just listen, just watch how they carry themselves. And that right there lets you know that uh, back when I saw this, I said, man, the Most High Yah is undefeated in his word. But a lot of men have failed to the misconception that a good woman is common. And the Bible doesn't mention that. It says when the preacher was looking for uh, a righteous man out of a thousand, he only found one. And amongst the women, he found none. So that's out of a thousand. So when we talk about rare, man, I'm here to tell you that it may be, uh, if, if that's what biblically out of a thousand wasn't none counted as righteous, now you're getting an indication of what kind of rare we're talking about. So don't be surprised. Uh, you know, I posted a video where this homeless man in Atlanta uh, this vagabond pretty much reached out uh, and was saying that he needed a place to stay and over a hundred women said, we'll take him in. Take in a homeless bum while having the mindset uh, that there ain't no good men, ain't none of these men good, but they'll take in a, a, a homeless man. Now we're putting it into perspective and get in. And here's the point I want to drive home. Man, if you are wasting your time with Jezebels and harlots and women that you know are permic and women that you know are promiscuous, uh, immodest, not meek, don't have a quiet spirit. Let me tell you something. It's better for you to live a life like Paul, for you to live a life like Hamashiach, uh, and and to get away from women like that, so you can truly see the set apart woman, because they are out there. And I tell you, man, I've seen like. Just in my traveling across, uh, you know, from states and traveling from state to state and uh, and being in the middle, man, I probably see throughout the year, I may see, see two or three women that I can discern are set apart the way that the book says. And that's, that's with my own eyesight in the physical that I can see and discern. So it's not... Uh, you're not gonna when you're looking at a lot of these women that stuck on Instagram and all of these women that stuck on social media and wanting to live a false reality you're not gonna find a set apart woman there even in the church man just because uh, a woman goes to church that doesn't mean she's set apart because when you look at a Mashiach there was plenty of women in the Bible like uh, the woman weeping over Tammuz 
she thought she was worshiping the most high, but she was worshiping uh, 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 an idol, a false idol, another deity. So the, the, you're not gonna find, uh, you know, uh, a good woman being common. You know, you're not gonna find 50 out of 100 women that are good. And the bad part for you is, if you're not filled with the Ruach HaKodesh, the genuine Holy Spirit, you're not gonna be able to discern the women that will flat out tell you that they are good when they're really evil. And you need to be studied in the word so you can see the signs, you know, by, by the fruit that a woman produces, by how she carries herself, by the spirit, how she conducts herself, you'll be able to tell, oh, now I see what he was talking about. Man, I saw one woman this last time I went to the airport to go get my daughter and all of the women was 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 very immodest, very vain, uh, very uh, promiscuous looking, not covered up, you know. I saw one woman out of the whole Houston airport that it was like uh, the difference between black and white. It's, that's how abstract it was. And I tell you, you're not gonna see a lot of women like that. And chances are, uh, the older they are and the more that they have defiled themselves by this system, the further you're gonna get away from it. You know, the Most High Yah talks about, uh, you know, the price of a virgin, you know, in marriage. And a lot of older, a lot of older women in society will shame a man for getting with a virgin uh, that has fertile soil, that has good soil that you can plant seed in that hasn't been defiled and tainted with all these spirits. You gotta think about all the stuff that's rare, that's collectible, that's priceless. Man, it's like a limited edition. So you can't be, uh, you know, on these on these dating apps and uh, on social media and, and uh, dealing with all these women that wanna live life like Housewives of Atlanta. You're not gonna find rare women like that. You know, you truly gotta be discerned and studied in the word to be able to recognize a woman that is submissive, has a meek, modest, and quiet spirit, uh, you know, that uh, is not externally adorning herself with all this vanity, a woman that's comfortable and confident with her natural, natural self. Like that is rare. In this daytime and hour, that is rare. But they are out there. They are out there. And if you're looking in all the wrong places or you have given up hope, you're never gonna see it, you're never gonna find it. So today I wanna just give you some words of encouragement and focus you back to what the word says so you're not thinking that uh, a set apart woman is common. The book of Ecclesiastes said, a wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but the godly woman is given to him that fears the most high Yah. So make sure you are in line with fearing the Most High Yah, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments. That way you can uh, be given and, 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 and visually and discern uh, a set apart woman. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun, barrel, straight. Wow.